Hey guys, this is Hank again with Hank Gives New Things. Just recently, or should I say, uh, slightly before Anime Central, I did get a 3DS. I don't remember if I did a video or not about it. But, um, I'm happy with the purchase. I had gotten a 3DS, it, it was actually an Ambassador 3DS, with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for 140 pretty much near mint condition and I was pretty happy with it so here you go I mean it's kinda hard to, to fuck up a 3DS case now next up I'm gonna go down a list of games that I got over the time since then well I mean you guys already know about Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Yes, we've seen it before. Actually, this would be the fourth remake, if I'm correct. Considering the fact it was remade twice on the GameCube. Once for the Wii. Okay, that I don't remember. But what I do remember is the fact that it has that whole Final Fantasy thing about it. Not gameplay wise, I mean just re release. The game though did get a graphical overall. It was really nice. If you could find it for like twenty, then by all means go after it. The way I base my purchases, especially if it's a remake, is if it's the same price as the original game. That way <coughs> you can't really complain if Hey, if you don't add a game or whatever, or you sold it or lost it in the past. <laughs> you virtually paying the same price as you would if you was rebuying the older game. So this was free. Not much complaint. It was already out again. <coughs> but let's say if I didn't have it, I would pay twenty or twenty two dollars for it. Not for it. Next up, I have Kid Icarus. <coughs> Most games I don't really go with the hype and rush out to buy the game just when everybody else is but this game was different I ended up playing one of my friends and it got me hooked from there on and I like rushed to get a 3ds before Asian because I I just I love the shit out of this game if anything I this would have been the first game in my which actually kind of, it was. It was my second game that I ever got for the 3DS. Well, actually, Metal Metal Torrent was either third or second. But I ordered this from Glide.com um, for $32, I believe. Glide.com, G-L-Y-D-E. Please check them out. They're fucking amazing with their prices. So 32 bucks for Kid Icarus, and it comes with the AR cards, but it also comes with three extra AR cards rather than the six that just originally come with the game. It's fucking phenomenal. The game should be checked out, multiplayer, story-wise, replayability, that shit is endless with that game. Weapon gems, um, it's like Street Pass, you literally co collect freaking weapons that your friends have and shit and, and see this OP weapons that you're like oh my god I have to unlock this with hearts which makes you play either more multiplayer or more single player matches until you get the hearts to either buy those items or fuse the gems which you still have to pay for items it's insane next up Mario Kart 7 the thing I love about Mario Kart 7 is, honestly, this is one of the harder Mario Karts. Not because of controls, but because of the computer actually acts more humanly. Not cheapishly. They genuinely act as if you're playing online. And that shit is scary. You're looking at the ninja goddamn of Mario Karts. But again, not cheap. Ninja Gaiden 1 on Xbox, not Ninja Gaiden fucking 2 on Xbox 360. This is what we're, we're comparing Mario Kart 7 to. Not only that, 
they brought coins back so you're looking at to get three stars and shit you have to get first place in each race with fucking ten coins that is absurdly hard all on its own uh, but the game is just it, it has a lot of content in it and multiplayer is fun as all shit Oh, and drifting isn't as wonky as it was in Mario Kart Wii. We are back to Mario Kart DS style of drifting. And that is even more accurate and, and less cheaper. You don't just walk it back and forth to drift. Or should I say, you know, it's a snake. You actually have to time it. So it's good to see how they did that. Next off, Cave Story 3. I'm a huge Cave Story fan. Um, when I went to the Ace and I, I freaked out when I saw someone doing a uh, the main character for Cave Story costume. That's a T. Uh, I mean, minus the whole cheekiness, it was actually a human size. But he, he had a down to the T where he had the pop star done and everything. It was fucking great. This game, people complain about the art style of it, saying that it lost its charm. If you're a fan of the Cave Story series, you would still enjoy this game because it's interesting to see how this world that you're used to seeing in the 8-bit play look in three dimensions and also hearing the remixes of the tracks. Still the same game you remember. Slight differences like stage difference wise, but that's the thing that makes you want to play it more. And from what I'm playing, I've heard that there is replayability. If you guys don't like the old style, they have a classic, uh, classic mode too. But then again, do you really want to pay, you know, like 40 bucks for that? Also, going back, I did pay 28 for this. Cave Story 3D, I paid 40. Super Mario 3D Land. Not much to really say about Super Mario 3D Land except um I, I don't know. It's it it was a great game. It's just like it felt slightly easy. I mean the later stages of course it was a little bit harder, but it was interesting to see what they did. Now the thing that really, really, really impressed me about this game is after you beat it, there are eight more wait okay spoiler alert but there are eight more worlds that are unlocked after you quote unquote beat the game which is just again insane last but not least in the future I have Tales of the Abyss now I'm a huge Tales fan and Seeing this being re-released, I already have it on the PS2, yes. But having Portable Tales, I, I don't mind repaying for this. It's true to the same PS2. I mean, the graphics actually look really interesting. Oh, my only problem is the 3D seems slightly forced. That is my problem. It's like they really tried to force the 3D on here. Other than that, same old tales. Um, there's a couple of more unlockables on here. And if anything, if you never played the Tales game, that's even more of a reason for you to purchase it. So, that's it for 3DS games. And yeah.